first thing I'm feeling with this card is someone may consider themselves being an activist. But the message that's coming through is cut through the illusions and shine your light. Shine your light on your deepest and darkest fears that may be presenting themselves to you in this moment of time. Stand up for your truth. Stand up for what feels right to you. Stand up for what you believe in. It doesn't matter how others may perceive you. All that matters is that you understand you. You came here to remember thyself. And you have to be okay with being misunderstood by those who see you the way they choose to see you and not allow this to stop you. Stand in your truth and stand up for what feels right to you. Let's flip the next card over. Look, you're on a quest and I'm hearing like balancing all aspects, all areas of your life and balancing out your dark and light energies. Fall in love with the journey. Someone be mindful not to chase. It's not a race. It's a marathon. Chasing, I'm feeling like your destiny. Chasing uh, a, a deadline, a destination. Fall in love with the journey. Fall in love with the experiences. Fall in love with everything that you are exploring and learning in the space that you are in. Okay. That's the message that I'm feeling right here. Look, and I'm also feeling like a change in mindset from like lack to abundance. So take how the messages are resonating in to you. You may have noticed lately how we are at our weakest. Look, confirmation, loud noise coming out of the blue. So you may have noticed lately that we are at our weakest when we try to control outside of us. Okay, imagine this game of life exactly that, like a game. Knowing that when you don't like what you see out there, you begin to make those changes within here. There are things that you have no control over. I'm also hearing call back your power. And I'm also seeing that your power is uh, linked to or tied to things that uh, own you at this point to someone, however it resonates to you, because it seems like it has this control over you because you have given power to it. Be mindful of the energies that you call into your life. And I heard subconscious belief. So this could also be occurring in your subconscious mind. I'm hearing clearing out reprogramming your mind. Okay. That may be a specific, uh, confirmation for someone out there. Okay. So it is a great time to surrender to the flow and move through resistance, move through fears and face your shadows. Get to know your dark and light energies. Okay. When you know your dark and light energy, it makes it very hard for you to be manipulated and controlled as well as you get to know you and accept you and love you. You are now moving in a whole new way for those who are resonating. Lean more into the trust and not the doubt. You're becoming a new person. And every time you become a new person, every time you enter a new level, you're going to notice yourself um, uh, moving through more things that need to be felt, whether it's old trauma, old programming, things of, uh, of that nature. That's what's coming through. So things are becoming clear to some of you. There is no need to be unsure when you know yourself. This is a yes or a no. There is no maybe. Really learn to trust you. I'm here when it's time to make an important decision, get clear, empty the space and connect to source. You are integrating lessons at this time. And for some of you 
who've been on the journey for four and a half, five years now. You're, there's a lot of lessons that you are integrating within you. Pay attention to what opens your heart and what closes your heart. You are truly learning how to be unconditional. And I'm feeling like, it, and when I said opens your heart and closing your heart, I also felt like uh, what gives your life a meaning? What opens up your heart? What causes you to want to close down your heart? That's what I'm feeling. You are truly learning how to be unconditional love. You are not moving backwards. You are moving forward. I'm getting the message. Sometimes it's like we, we go against the grain of our old life. And that shows us how much we have changed because we begin to make different choices than the ones we did before. That keeps us from not staying the same specific message. It could be, or just clarity. Next card, balance is key. We spoke on balancing out all aspects of your life and balancing out your dark and light energies. I find balance between each sphere of my life. I am the master of my daily life. I make time to nourish the spiritual and the physical, and I bring love to my world by fulfilling the needs of my body and soul. As I'm looking at this card, I'm feeling as above, so below. Okay, you lovely soul. Okay, connect in the spiritual, align daily, and, and, and then move from there. So aligning your heart with your mind. Okay. Some of you are, I'm like, I heard like spiritual workers, like you work in the spiritual world as well. And I'm also hearing like, stay connected. Okay. Uh, keep that open channel. Okay. Next card. Look, 1001. I actually felt like I wrote a community post over this the other day, spiritual awakening. And I actually felt that. So there's new beginnings, personal development, prior to prioritizing creativity and heading in the right direction, a new phase and a, a new phase in your spiritual quest. Check this out. We actually pulled quest. Okay. So there's a new phase in your spiritual quest and you're going through a spiritual awakening, which can feel like the dark night of the soul. You're on the path to enlightenment and this too shall pass. And the first thing I'm hearing is like crumbling, breaking apart. Things are falling away. What or who or whatever falls away is not in alignment with you is exactly what I'm picking up right now. And the hippopotamus exploration. If you have become bored with your life, you have the creative power to stir things up and revitalize everything. You can do this by starting new projects, setting new goals, and making spiritual connections. And I'm also hearing, like, get out the box. Stay out the box. Open up your mind. It doesn't have to be like this set in stone way. What I feel, I feel like I'm supposed to say what works for you may not work for others, but I'm also feeling like just because the way you choose to live your life and saying someone else, you know, choose to live their life differently, does it make neither of you wrong? Okay. And I'm here like open up your mind to, uh, other ways of learning. Um, I heard other ways of digesting spiritual knowledge, um, from other people that even if you say you're not religious, but yet you're, you're feeling drawn and curious to doing religious studies, because maybe you're going to decode hidden messages. Okay. That's what I'm feeling as well. So like being open and not putting yourself in a box and knowing that you just, you are just everything and everything is you. Like I am every day and everything is me and not like, I'm hearing like confining yourself into just this, this, this box and this one way of a being like, and not opening up. I'm hearing like sprouting out, uh, more information out there from other people that could be outside of your comfort zone that could be like-minded, but live in a different way. Okay. But resonate with you. That's the best way I could bring that across right there. Lovely soul. So if you like this message, just hit that like button. If you would like to book a reading with me, the information is down below in the description area. With that being said, keep taking care of yourself. One love. Come back to see me though.